Welcome. In this video, I am going to talk about command line interpreters and specifically the terminal on Mac and Linux systems, the command prompt on Windows systems, and the Windows subsystem for Linux on Windows systems. So normally to navigate your file system and use your operating system, you're going to use something that may look just like this if you're on a Mac with maybe a different background, or if you're on a PC, it will look much different than this. This is what is known as the graphic user interface. It is a nice user interface that has graphical elements to make it easy to navigate and use your operating system. You could have folders on here, you could have files on here, and they will just show up here and you can navigate those folders just by clicking on the folder or view what's in a file by clicking on a file. You could also open up a file in something like a text editor, you know, and type into it. And then you would go and maybe say, save that on the desktop. And when you do that, you can see that it saves over here. And if I wanted to open that, we could just double click on that and you see, well, this is in text edit, a different program, but you see, we get to see what is in that file. Just nice on nice and graphically using this graphic user interface. But this isn't really something that a computer scientist needs. All the computer scientist needs is to be able to use the operating system and use the file system. And we do not need this nice, pretty graphic user's interface that is showing us nice graphical elements just to make it easier for us to navigate. As computer scientists, all we need is some sort of language to talk to the computer. And that is what Unix commands are. And we can use these commands through what is known as a command line interpreter. So here is the standard command line interpreter on Mac. Let me make it a little bit bigger by using command plus. If you're on Windows and on a command prompt or on the Windows subsystem for Linux, you'll do Windows key plus. And this is basically the same thing as your desktop here. Let me do one command here and I will change to my desktop. And now if I were to type in a Linux command here, we won't get into the specifics of that, what this command is. You can see I have desktop, which is this folder over here. And I also have test.txt, which is this text file over here. And I could come over here and if I wanted to see what was in this text file, well, I could put in another Linux command, which is this cat command and then type the name of that file and you see I get what is contained in that file output to the screen. So what this enables us to do is to use our operating system and our file system without all these unnecessary graphics. It is, a, it is using your file system and your operating system through text instead of through a nice graphic user interface. And one thing that should be noted is on Windows, you do not have something like this nice terminal program that you'll have on Mac and on Linux. On Windows, you're going to have something called a command prompt. And the command prompt is kind of like the terminal over here. It's kind of like this terminal, except the command prompt looks a little bit different. If you we scroll down here, you see we have Microsoft Windows and it talks about the Windows Corporation because this is a thing built by Windows for Windows computers. And this command prompt also cannot take Unix commands. It takes Windows commands. So commands made up by Windows. So this isn't very useful for a computer scientist because whenever we get we see commands out in the wild, they're always going to be Unix commands. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to download the Windows subsystem for Linux. And basically what this is going to do, it is going to download some stuff to make your Windows machine be a little bit more Unix-like. Pretty much it will give you this terminal. It's a little bit more complex than just giving you this terminal. You are downloading a command line version of Linux to run on your PC, but that's a bit too complicated for this class. So for now, you're basically just downloading one of these terminals for your PC. So I do not actually have a Windows machine, so I can't go through these steps with you, but I can give you these steps and tell you it's actually pretty simple. I've done this before on a Windows machine. I don't currently have one, but you're just gonna go to your command prompt and type in this command right here, ws dash dash install. There's gonna be a space in between here. So wsl space dash dash install and then hit enter. 
into your command prompt window. So into this window right here after this little, what is that? Like a forward brace? I don't think that's a brace. Whatever that is. After that arrow looking thing, right here, you're going to start typing and you're just going to type in that WSL space dash dash install. And that will install the Windows subsystem for Linux on your machine. And if you have any troubles while downloading it, there are tons of troubleshooting steps right here on Windows website. So make sure to download this if you are on Windows so that you are able to use all of the Unix commands that you will see in this class, in future classes, and throughout your computer science careers. And that is all that I have for you for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.